Welcome to Word 2010 Photo Design Tricks 1. I'm Trina Laurie. What photo design tricks are we talking about today? Well, these are advanced options for photos so you can take control of your Word projects. First, we'll discuss the three secrets to making photos work in Word, and then we'll show you how to put silhouette behind text. This is secret one to making it work. Generally, we get the drawing canvas, and as a result, we get more things than we bargain for. So what we want to do is turn off that drawing canvas. Yes, it's a good thing to have unless you want to have complete control over your photos. So go to File Options, under the Advanced tab, and under Editing Options, uncheck Automatically Create Drawing Canvas when inserting auto shapes. You can always turn that back on again if you decide you don't like it, but I guarantee I've never turned it back on again because I love having complete control over my photos and other shapes. Secret two to making it work is under the Wrap Text option, and you can find this either on the picture toolbar or by right-clicking on any picture. The default is to put your picture in line with text, and that usually is not what we want. You have so many other options, but the main thing was we want to look at the text layer. In the text layer, there's three layers on any uh, Word document that you can't really see. The text layer, and then what's behind the text layer, and what's in front of the text layer. We want to make sure that if it's going to be in the text layer, that it's working with the text the way we want it. So I would recommend that you either use square or tight to um, make your text in line with the, the um, picture. However, you can always put it behind the text or in front of the text, and we'll show you some of those options as well. So just remember that the default in line with text is probably not what you want. You'll want to choose some other options instead. And secret three to making it work is the position tool under picture. Uh, and position is a lot like wrap text, except that it will put your picture where you specifically want it. Just choose, and it will automatically uh, put it in that position. Professional designers know that when we read, we look at headlines and photos in only one to seven seconds. In other words, in one to seven seconds, we determine whether we're going to continue reading or put it down and walk away. But today is about photos, so we want to make sure that our photos work appropriately and that our readers continue to read. Advanced technique I want to show you now is called Silhouette Behind the Text. This is from a professionally designed uh, document, and see how it has that um, silhouette and it's behind the text. I've had people say, you can't do that in Word. <laughs> when I design Word, you can do it. But remember, you have to make sure that you're in um, the 2010 mode. You can't be in compatibility mode, because otherwise your picture toolbar changes. So make sure that uh, if you're in compatibility mode, you go to File and Convert so that it is in 2010. Let's take the picture here. We've got this picture and we choose on the picture tab the color option and you can see all the different options that I have for color. Well, uh, if I want it to be kind of purpley, I just choose that. See, I can make it yellow or I can make it purpley the way um, that other silhouette was. There's still some definition there. You can take that out if you want, but I like having some definition there. And then the background you want to set as transparent color because you don't want there to be any, um, any white background around her. And so to do that, it's under the color, but you have to then click in the white area that uh, you want to be transparent. You also have options for more variations. So if you don't see the color there that you want, you can change it. I've got my picture, and I've got it the way I want, but my text is wrong. So I want to wrap the text and then put it behind. So I right-click and choose Wrap Text, and I want to send the picture behind the text. Remember I mentioned there were three levels, in the text, behind the text, or in front of the text. Behind the text. And you can see how similar it looks to the professional. Please subscribe to the Trainer Laurie channel, and click like if you like it. See you next time.